Yo, what's good trainers? It's Fatty here with another Great League video. Today we are going to be running a special team of a Victory Bell, a Purified Sableye with Return, and a Bastiodon in the back. Today I figured I'd use this team since it is pretty balanced and we are trying to climb the ace ranking. Hopefully we will be getting to veteran very soon. I hope you enjoy this battle and if you do please remember to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and with all that being said, let's just get right into these battles. So for the first battle here, we are going to be going up against a Medicham lead. So this is pretty good for us. We're just going to Razor Leaf down as much as we can. Of course, we do have to watch out for any potential Ice Punches, but it seems like they're just going to be going for the Power Up Punches. We're going to be using a Leaf Blade here, using up a shield. And all we can do right now is keep on shielding. Uh, just in case they do use a powerful move. Here my opponent swaps into an Altaria. We're going to come in with Bastiodon. And we're just going to be able to farm down as much as possible. So the great thing here is Bastiodon is just so bulky that nothing an Altaria can do can really hurt us. We're just going to be taking those hits. Even a Dragon Pulse and building up energy with the Smackdowns. So we'll be able to farm it down all the way. Uh, next my opponent is going to bring back in their Metacham, I believe. We're going to be going for a Flamethrower. But no, instead of Metacham, they brought in the Bastiodon. My mistake. We're going to be going for Flamethrower after Flamethrower just to do as much damage as we can. Quickly swap into the Victory Bell. Go for a Leaf Blade. And we're going to be going down. Coming back in with Bastiodon. We just want to do as much damage as possible to this opposing Bastiodon. Just to kind of even things out. My opponent here is going to come in with the Metacham. And it's going to be farmed down. Before we get to the flamethrower, unfortunately though, our Bastiodon is going to be taken down. And all we have left right here is the Purified Sableye. Uh, going to be hit with that Stone Edge. But I think at this point we'll just Shadow Claw down and win. So very good game right there. Next game though, we're going to be facing off against a Shadow Needle Queen. And that's definitely not the best scenario for us. We're just going to have to shield up here. And hopefully... Uh, farm down as quickly as possible we're going to be able to farm down and my opponent brings in a shift tree we're going to be going for a leaf blade they shield up and now shift tree does give this team a bit of trouble but bastiodon should be able to handle things they swap out into medicham we're going to come in with sableye sableye really saving the day most of the time with this team and we're going to be going for those foul plays Again, Medicham is a part Psychic type, so Foul Plays will be doing a lot of damage. So here, uh, we're just going to be taking the Psychic and Shadow Clawing down the rest of its HP. In comes the uh, Shift Tree. Now the plan here is I want to go for a Return Attack. At the very least, hopefully using up their final shield. And if not, we should be able to do a lot of damage. Thankfully though, they do use their final shield and we're just going to come in with the Bastiodon and go for the Flamethrower, taking out the Shift Tree, winning the game. So here, uh, this would be a just a repetition of the previous battle. So we're just going to go through that and get to the next one. And here, I believe we are going to be facing off against another Needle Queen lead. Uh, not good for us, but it's still better than going off against a Shadow Needle Queen. We're going to be going for Leaf Blade after Leaf Blade. Shielding up here. And the trick here is we just want to make sure that we are keeping our opponent on their toes since they bring in the uh, Scrafty. We're going to be going for um, the Potential Return. Oh, the thing is, uh, Scrafty does give this team also a bit of trouble as well. It is definitely the typing which this team doesn't handle without Victory Bell being a dark fighting type. So here, all we're going to be able to do is go for foul play after foul play. And trying to really, really put on the pressure. They keep going for the power-up punches though, which is great for us because now we get to go for foul play. Uh, and really just put up the pressure here. But they're going to come in with the Drapion. We bring in Bastiodon. And things are looking pretty good here. Since Bastiodon should be able to handle Drapion pretty well. Um, so here we're just going to go for the Flamethrower. 
and the Smackdowns should be able to do a lot of damage as well. We're going to be able to survive that crunch and barely get to the flamethrower, winning us the game. So that came in very clutch. Very good game to my opponent there. So on to the next match. Here we are facing off against Alteria. Alteria is definitely not the best Pokemon to go up against. So we're going to swap out into our safe swap of Sableye. Going for foul play after foul play. Uh, at this point, I'm going to be shielding. Shielding the Sky Attack. Going for those Shadow Claws. And we'll just keep going for Foul Play just to kind of put up some shield pressure. Uh, if we can use up both shields, that would be great. We're going to go for another Foul Play. And here, uh, Sableye does go down, but we're going to come in with Bastiodon. As my opponent brings in a Stun Fisk, we're going to quickly swap out into the Victory Bell. Hopefully we can go for one Leaf Blade here. And we do. We go for the Leaf Blade. And that should be enough to take out the Stun Fisk. So now we're waiting to see what opponent does. They bring back in with their Needle Queen. And I think at this point we pretty much lose. Because after one Poison Jab and an Earth Power, our Bastiodon will go down. So that was... Uh, pretty unfortunate for us to go up against a needle queen like this uh, yeah the earth power is just gonna take us down at this point so good game to my opponent there and here for the next match uh, we get a pretty good lead here versus a swampert we're gonna go for the uh, razor leaves as they swap into their stun fisk I decide not to swap out yet but I just want to go for one leaf blade after I do a bit more damage with the Razor Leafs. But it seems here they're not going to be shielding. We're going to now swap out into Sableye as they bring in the Skarmory. So they are running a team of Swampert, uh, Galarian, Stunfisk, and Skarmory. We're going to be going for the Foul Play again. And at this point I think it will just have to be Bastiodon that really does most of the work here. Uh, going to have to be careful with the Swampert as well. So we're going to be saving of a shield just in case Swampert wants to come in just like that. And here we are just clicking real hard on the victory bell. Trying to uh, trying our best to swap it out as soon as possible. There we're going to come in right now. Shield up a hydro cannon. And here uh, I think we do a pretty bad job. Uh, because I was... Um, Originally aiming for the Acid Spray. And we're not going to be able to get to the Flamethrower on time. As the Skarmory will be able to Flash Cannon and take us down. So there you go. Three out of five games. Not the worst, honestly. Uh, especially since we are still ranking up. Great League, honestly, is just not my best league. But we're going to try to get to the Veteran rank as soon as possible. We're going to collect our rewards here. We get the Fortress. Catching that real quick. Hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if I sound a bit off. I am a bit sick right now. Uh, nothing serious though. But uh, thank you for supporting this video. If you did enjoy it, I will really appreciate a like. And I will see you next time. Peace.